Okay, this is 5312 Debut Court. Um, it's kind of in the northwest area of town. Um, some might call it North Las Vegas. And it's the, the first impression here is that it's neglected. This is all weeds. And it's a simple landscaping going on here, but it's, it's been neglected for quite a long time. You see uh, part of the fence, so it looks like a gate. Maybe that's falling apart a little bit. There's also, um, that's probably evidence of somebody trying to get in there. There's a tile that's about to fall off there on the roof. These are all just kind of first impression uh, indications of neglect. Probably there was a renter in here or something. It's been on market since February, so that suggests that it might be uh, priced in a way that buyers aren't agreeing with. But it's not so long that it indicates um, some kind of a problem. I know buyers always think that houses that don't sell right away are uh, some, there's something wrong. That is um, almost never the case. The Houses that don't sell right away is because the price isn't right. It's always price. So there's quite a lot of evidence of just little touch-ups all over the place. Um, the interior paint's not bad, but I mean, you got a lot of touch-ups going on. And it looks like maybe... Uh, what is this? Kind of like a, a door. It's kind of like a curtain-style door. I can hear the, I think it's a smoke detector from upstairs chirping somewhere. I can see one there that's got the, uh, looks like the battery's been removed. <laughs> and then there's one here that's been taken off completely, probably because the battery was going and uh, this is how renters do things. Oh, there's one of the temporary doors we just saw out there. So this. This kind of door is, they're being, using it as a, a closet door. It's kind of a, I don't know, what I think of as like, what you would expect to see at a manufactured home. A mobile home type style of a door. Anyway, uh, that's how renters think. <laughs> Rather than putting a, uh, like a 75 cent 9 volt battery in there and forgetting about it for another year and a half, you just rip it off. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, that's how renters handle themselves a lot. Bathroom looks like it's in good shape. The windows and doors don't seem like there's anything wrong. There's, a, there's a sunscreens on a lot of these that are blocking out a lot of the light. Yeah, you can see uh, all, the, all the stuff. There's some um, ant and roach spray. There's more bug spray. Is that, no, the three bug sprays here, so we'll look for pest activity as we go along. Uh, you're not really goofing around with bug spray unless you're trying to get rid of bugs. And really, if the house is being um, treated with, you know, by a pest control operator on a regular basis, you won't have bugs. It's the desert. Something that atta was attached here. There's bolts sticking up out of the. I guess those are pavers. I was gonna say textured, like stamped concrete, but that's actually pavers there, I think. This little water feature thing over there. So there's one big condenser there. That looks like a five ton condenser. Can't see the brand, but that's probably not original. Okay, that's a carrier. That's a good brand. Oh, there's bolts sticking out all over this. Okay, so what this was, so there's bolts sticking out of these pavers in, in each corner. So there was, a, there was an awning here, a gazebo, and they took it out. So it was attached to the ground there, but an appraiser is going to see those bolts sticking out and call it a safety hazard, and it is. It's a tripping hazard among other things. The pool's gonna need a whole lot of work. So this is a value-related flaw in my view, because probably the 
texture is going to have to, at the very minimum, it's going to have to be cleaned and refilled. Looking at a couple thousand dollars minimum, but it's probably more than that. It's probably going to get a real expensive to get this thing up and running because it's no telling what kind of damage it's done to the plumbing and everything else, not having any water in it. Same with all this. It's been overgrown by weeds. These are big milk weeds. This is years of growth. So again, it looks like, uh, to me, like renters. Renters let it go. They moved out. The owner wants to liquidate. So you can call that uh, a reason not to buy it if you're a buyer. But truly, it is more likely going to be an opportunity for the buyer. But usually, uh, investors who own, I'm just checking out the fridge here. Investors who own rental properties usually are very, very, they, they usually think their properties are worth more than they are <laughs> in a way that makes it hard to do a deal. Um, they think of themselves as real estate experts and they become very tricky to deal with sometimes, but basically all sellers believe their house is worth more than it actually is. But people who hold houses as rentals are sort of uh, most notorious for that. So that's probably what's going on here. Um, there's another missing um, smoke detector. That's gonna come up on appraisal, almost certainly, because it's safety related. There's something that looks like water damage to me. Let's see if I can zoom in. That looks like water coming through on the roof. So this roof's on an incline. I don't know how much you can see it, but the peak is over here, right around this wall somewhere. So probably, usually when we see something like that, that water seeping through on an incline. It means the water is actually coming through over here at the peak and it found an ax it found a way to the through the wall, through the underlayment, through the paneling and into the ceiling and it expressed itself there but the actual roof leaks probably up there somewhere and the water just kind of migrated down. So, pool swimming pool is value related. Almost certainly. That's going to be at least 1% of the value, possibly as much as 2% of the, I don't know, I shouldn't say value, of the seller's asking price. And uh, this, this, root, this issue here looks like a roof. I mean, it's right above a shower and a tub. So there is a certain amount of like steam and condensation that happens here. But that looks to me like roof. That is screaming roof issue to me right there. So roof issue is going to be probably another 2%. So you're looking at probably taking 2 to, to 4, maybe 3 to 4% off of whatever the, whatever the market value is. So somebody's been up in the attic. Not surprising. There's a smoke detector sitting there. <laughs> that might be the one that's screeching because it's not ripped open and it's still in place. Some damage on the door right here. So somebody's been in here, a handyman or somebody doing some tune-ups. What's going on here? I don't know whether these are all little bugs or what. Might be a bunch of little bugs coming up through the drain and dying in the tub. Can't tell. I haven't seen any other evidence of pest activity. Okie doke. Now that we've seen a, a possible roof issue in one place, I'm just going really carefully try to look for others. So it could be that you just have a couple of tiles loose up on the peak 
or maybe one of them's broken or slipped off or something, and the water's just kind of making its way, making its way, and it's finally popped out there. I don't see evidence of it anywhere else, and it doesn't look like the roof has been painted, or sorry, the interior, the ceilings. It doesn't look like the, anything's been painted in here recently, so it could be that that's the only spot. The concern in, in, for me is that you got an interior wall there that's right about where the leak is likely to be. It's an interior vertical wall and it sits right about here. So it could be the water is coming through down that, not only is it migrating down the incline of the roof, but it's also migrating down that vertical wall and we just don't see it. And it's, it's very difficult to test that unless you're gonna take a core sample out of the wall and the seller's just gonna say no to that. So this one's listed for 465. 465,000. If that's anywhere close to the market value, and it's almost certainly high because it's been sitting here for a couple months, um, then I would say you're probably looking at 10, maybe 15,000 to 20,000 in value related repairs that are just uh, easy to see. The roof issue and the pool. That pool out there could be very, very expensive. To say that it might be one to two percent of the value um, is it could be low, could be drastically low. The roof's probably going to be in the neighborhood of two percent. Um, yeah, that's five, three, one, two. Debut court. I hope you enjoyed it. This one could be a real opportunity for the right buyer who doesn't mind a little bit of a project and doesn't mind a tough negotiation to get a seller to agree to uh, a price tag that makes sense given the uh, value-related flaws that are here. Um, especially as a fixer-upper for that kind of buyer, this one sounds like it's gonna be just right, except you're gonna, the, it, it, the fact that it's been sitting here a couple months kinda indicates to me that it's an obvious fixer-upper with some serious flaws but uh, the, of course the seller wants a uh, premium full retail. <laughs> so those kind of deals can be done though. Um, I'm giggling about it and I'm being kind of critical of somebody I don't know. And I don't, I'm saying a lot of things I don't know. I'm just get, saying from experience, it's probably what we're dealing with. I'm standing here. And there's a that's crazy small door right here. This is maybe 24 inches this uh, access to the kitchen. A little bit weird. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. 5312 debut court. Get that pool fixed and the roof fixed and do a tune up in here and away you go. All right, have a nice day.